you go source analysis, get started, mention that you're leaving from a file share and moving to maybe Microsoft 365 or other SharePoint versions, and then you're going to need to select your source and then run the analysis. Now, if you were to do this on a file share, you would have access to anything that's readily available to the account you're using to log into your Windows session with and then launch ShareGate. So anything that's accessible as a map drive to that account will be visible in your selections and you can run the analysis on the different folders that you have access to. So you're able to know if there are files that would be too large, files or folder paths that would be too long. Are you missing permissions somewhere that we're not able to read their, these files? So meaning we won't be able to bring them over. And in the case of SharePoint Online, there's a 5,000 item list view threshold. So if folders have more than 5,000, they could represent this an issue down the line. So we're bringing visibility. And then you go import external content. From there, you're going to go import from file share. So here, pick anything that's a SharePoint site with a document library. You need to find a document library to bring your content over to. So now I'm able to have this as my desktop destination and get to those folders you want to bring into SharePoint. That's how you set it up. You have your usual copy options. They're a little bit limited in terms of file share because you're just moving files, but you want to probably preserve authors and timestamps, your custom permissions. Version history is really rare on a file share, but we still keep the option here just in case. And if you're taking this opportunity maybe to remove some of the heavy top-down folder hierarchy that might be found in the file share, you could also go flatten folder hierarchy to take care of that. Say, but really have a good understanding of your permission schema that you want to have on the destination after the migration is done and where you're moving your data. For instance, if you're going to ship on online, if you move your data into a Teams, for instance, then you have to remember that all owners become site collection admin of the site collection that is associated to that Teams. So if you move data that is supposed to be sensitive, all the owners have site collection admin. That means that all the owners have access to the files. Any owners can add any additional owners, which means that these files are not 100% secure. So it's really going to be a matter of understanding what you need to do the other way around. If you, yep. on a file share, there is a possibility of having inherited permissions and explicit permissions. So you will have permissions from the parent folder and maybe like an additional user that's been added to the files themselves. If you migrate these files, ShareGate will see that they have explicit permissions, so will break inheritance. And there is a limit of 50,000 documents per library that can have explicit permissions. So I cannot stress enough that you have to be careful about that. Yeah, so that, that's really it about the file share. It's not really complicated. It's just these things need to be kept in mind because you're moving files and some metadata, but that's really it. So it's not that complicated, but depending on where you're bringing those files to, these files come for permission and permissions already exist depending on where you're going that could interfere with that. So that's really what we wanted to share.